We first start with a very small swing uh, where we almost just start from an impact position and then just have people do a little chip shot like Got this. It. But then the, the next m movement up is to add r some wrist setting and still stop the club right here. Okay. So yeah, it's not a hard swing, but you can uh, pop the ball and you get that nice little click where you get a, a real solid compressed shot on a very small swing. Yes. And it's very hard for people to cock the club up here and then stop the club here. So that's that compression, the resistance that you need, having that flat left wrist past impact. Yeah. So you're not bending inward and we've got a real strong uh, position at impact and just past impact. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live View is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. Hey guys, Eric here at the beautiful Jim McLean Golf School at the Biltmore Hotel in Miami, Florida. And we're gonna be talking today with none other than Mr. Jim McLean. Now I'm not gonna act like you don't already know who he is, but just in case you've never heard of him, Jim has been one of the top golf coaches in the world forever top three, five, 10 ranked golf coach in the world and every magazine you could think of has won just about every award and has a ton of awesome playing accolades. And you'll see exactly why in today's video. It's the first video we did with Jim. We're talking a little bit about impact, right? Some impact training and the drill that Jim uses and his coaches use to train people how to get a great impact position and start to hit shots and build a foundation for a great golf swing. I'm sure you uh, enjoy this. I'm hoping, hoping you enjoy, I'm sure that you will. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, Mr. Jim, uh, video number one here I'd love to discuss. I actually saw a couple um, of your videos and two of them in particular that I thought tied together so beautifully that our audience will love. And the first one was talking about um, the difference between setup and impact. Um, I'd love to have a little conversation on that. I think a lot of people maybe don't quite know the difference between the two. Um, some checkpoints for that one. And then tying that into the pinch drill you did. It was a little three-step process. Um, so I'd love to have a conversation about that, maybe starting with the difference between the setup and impact. Yeah, well, one of the things I do, Eric, in, uh, in my golf schools is ask people, where would they like to be at impact? And you kind of get that blank stare. They're a little bit worried about that. And if you ask somebody to put themselves in a, perfect impact position, they probably can't do it. Um, so it's a good place to start because impact uh, is a moment of truth and we've got to be in a good, good position when we hit the golf ball. So we can start with some simple ideas. One is the shaft is leaning forward and the left arm is more forward than it was at address. So that's, that's a very important idea for people to, to understand. They're not trying to bring the club back to where they started. The, the left arm, the lead arm is more forward the shaft's forward and my weight's forward. So when we do the pinch drill, we, we can really work in in a building block sort of way in a small swing to see if they can start to replicate that. I'm gonna have you do that, but let me talk about a few other things. As I move through, my, my hips are rotating, my belt has moved forward from where it was at address. Otherwise, they're not gonna be able to hit down on the golf ball. We have a lot of people that the belt, which is your center of mass, actually doesn't move or, or even rocks back a little bit and they're always hitting up on the golf ball. So the belt moves forward, my left hip turns slightly for this little small swing and the hands are forward. And then the other thing I like people to understand and to learn is that the club stays down past impact. Mm. So I use a simple little idea that I picked up way back as uh, in Westchester Country Club in New York when I was teaching all the juniors, the little kids. And I learned a really important thing of being very simple in my teaching. I learned that from teaching a lot of juniors. And that is point the club at the ground. Mm. 
Mm. And most people can understand that That's at good. this finish. I, I showed them there's three places you could point at it. The ground, at the target, or up at the sky. And so many people come to their short shots and try to lift it up. So when you do the pinch, when I have you do this, I want the shaft pointed at the ground and, and over on your left side completely. Love so that. it's a very small swing, but there's a lot of little things to, to incorporate yeah. into this small swing that most people don't do. Let me ask you this as a broad question too, because I see a lot of the same, hey, pose me impact, and you get all kinds of stuff that yeah. comes up. Would you say there's a pretty clear cut, uh, let's use handicap level, right? The better the player, the better their ability, even to pose or get to a good right. impact? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Eric. Um, this, this idea of be, being able to move into this impact position, and we can even start people from this position sometimes, and then also just this post-impact position where you're sustaining the hit as you go through it. You're not flipping your hands through. And I, lo I love the basic concept of the club head towards the ground. Simple. Simple, yeah. simple. But that gets like four or five things done in one shot. Right. So let's say with the hand part, right? So let's, let's use the hand checkpoint. I always like to give people a reference of maybe the handle being like inside left thigh, mm -hmm. maybe something like that, or just inside the thigh. When we're talking from impact to setup, two, three, four, five inches, Absolutely. With the handle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I always like people to start with just inside the left thigh for, for all all clubs. But when they hit this little pinch shot, it's got to be more forward yeah. for me. And then this little post impact position. Uh, the shoulders are at least back to square for for most people. Uh, definitely the better player. It's more open. The hips are opening. So we try to get them into this really good little impact position. The right elbow is close to the body. The hands are forward. Yeah. The, the club is flat on the ground. So they can understand this position right here. And then address, impact. Mm. Address, impact. And, and repeat. So let's, can I hop in there, Jim, sure, for a absolutely. second? Sure, let's, absolutely. Let's put me to the test first with just the impact. Right. And see if I can pose, a, pose yeah. an impact position. But I think, man, it's, it's interesting having taught, and I'm the same thing, if I'm trying to get someone to make a move during the downswing, and they've got no idea of where they're trying to get to a lot of times, mm -hmm. it's hard. You know, it's, it's, it's it really is hard. Compared to them having a roadmap of where they're going. So let's say from here, Jim moves back, let's say from here I take my normal setup position. So this for me would be kind of a stock setup here. And my pose impact, I kind of a little nervous here putting myself to the test. Let's say my <laughs> impact would look something like here. Yeah. So maybe my hands are a little more like in line with my left leg. Absolutely. Yeah. If you put a line up through the shaft, it would miss your body. Mm. I like yeah. that too. Okay. So handle forward, belt buckles turned and forward a little bit. Yeah. I might also talk about the pressure off the instep here. Yeah. The weights moving to the left foot and starting to go back toward the left heel. And so then once I go through, let's say I do this a little bit. Maybe I'm using video or mirror to confirm if I'm by myself, mm -hmm. some of those checkpoints. I say, all right, Jim, I feel good about this. I think I got this impact deal. I want to start hitting some, right. some shots. And I really liked how you went into that, that pinch drill. Maybe if you could demonstrate, then I'll come and hit, hit some yeah. shots. Just show us kind of the pieces. Well, yeah. Well, we first start with a very small swing uh, where we almost just start from an impact position and then just have people do a little chip shot like got this. It. But then the, the next m movement up is to add some wrist setting and still stop the club right here. Okay. So yeah, it's not a hard swing, but you can uh, pop the ball and you get that nice little click where you get a, a real solid compressed shot on a very small swing. Yeah. And it's very hard for people to cock the club up here and then stop the club here. So that's that compression, the resistance that you need, having that flat left wrist past impact yeah. so you're not bending inward and we've got a real strong uh, position at impact and just past impact. You want to try it? I would love to try it. Yeah, I'd love to try it. And one of the things I love, Jim, too, and you guys have seen in, in the intro here with some of the books that Jim has written and the programs that he's done, one thing I've always loved, and I, I told you off camera, I try and mimic a lot of how you present the information and the learning I think is incredible, where it go, it's building blocks. Yeah. Right? It's, it's sort of step by step. and. Um, so I appreciate you doing that because I've used that for a long time of the idea of let me get good at or try and master this hitting area. Right. And then I can go a little longer, go a little longer, go a little longer. Uh, yeah. You see, Eric, I think most people have never really spent any time doing this. So when they come to a golf school, we can capture them for a little while and have them do this for a couple of days. 
we can really make a lot of progress. Mm. But if you can't do this, it, it's unlikely you're going to do it in your in your full swing. Yeah, full swing, <laughs> full speed. Yeah. Let alone trying to think about other yeah. things going on, right? So, okay, so let's take our setup position. I'm going to do a impact pose. Do I get an A on that, Jim? Is yeah. that pretty good there? That's okay, good. we're getting an A. Yep. We're good on here. A plus. And now, if I, <laughs> as I go from here now, and I remember in the and I liked how there was a couple of checkpoints, and not that it needs to get this in depth. But I remember some of the pieces we were talking about potentially feeling a little bit of the right wrist bent back. Absolutely. Getting my trail leg and belt buckle with a little bit of turn on the way through. Right. Making sure my lead arm gets back in front of me. Yeah, when you cock the, the trail wrist back, that obviously flattens the lead wrist. So you've already got that impact position pretty much set right there. Mm. Then it's just a matter of rotating through. Instead of having people throw their hands and arms at the ball, we're just going to rotate through and, and then hold. Right, keep this club pointed at the ground. See if, go ahead, let's see you hit yeah, one. Yeah. Let's see if you can keep the club short of this, like you've got a tree branch hanging here and you stop, yeah, perfect. So that's what I try to get people to do right there. Yeah, and it's even for me, like I don't, I never really think about that, you know, the, the club head being down, but right no. away by me thinking about that, my lead wrist was good. Yeah. My trail arm got forward enough, right, hit the ball solid. So I, I love that. Now, if I'm doing a couple of these, Jim, let's say I'm kind of pre-rehearsing my setup a couple times. Mm -hmm. I'm doing some of these swings. You know, maybe I'm getting to like a 45 degree deal here. I'm not, I'm not here at my leg. I'm not at the target. I'm maybe right. 45 degree angle. Yeah, I'm really, really big on learning to resist the, the golf club trying to catch up. The, Go past. the hands lead and then you get that kind of sound and a little divot uh, possibly after the, after the shot, yeah. which a lot of people have never experienced. So I think going back to your, your ABCs, right back from the beginning, and then building out from there is, a, is just the way I teach. Yeah, and, and one of the things, and kind of last comment on this, I think, this is one of those things that's interesting to me in golf, that we don't look at it like we do a lot of other things, right? Like, I wanna get a nutrition plan that I can use for 50 years not a week, and then a new nutrition plan, a new nutrition plan. From my perspective, this is something that every golfer could do, and they could always do it. Right. You can't get too good at these no. pieces. And yeah. I think I would urge a lot of you guys that are watching, because I think people look at this and like, all right, good, let me, let me talk to you about my arm at the top. You right. know? But first things first, let's get good at this, and maybe include it as like a warm-up, you know, as part of your practice. I encourage a, a, lot of, a lot of the people that come to our golf schools and a lot of my students that they start their uh, routine in the morning with some small shots. Of course, you see a lot of tour players start with a pitching wedge or a sand wedge and just starting with small swings, yeah. just getting things going. But you'll see a lot of great players hit a lot of these little short shots and, and hold, hold the resistance at the end. So it's not a remedial thing. It's not absolutely a beginner thing. It's just working on this very important aspect of impact. Love it, excellent. I don't think any more needs to be added. That was beautiful. Guys, do these, include these in your practice, especially if you're somewhere in the winter time inside, hitting into a net. Use this as part of your winter. Use camera, make sure you're doing it correctly. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below. Click subscribe and leave a comment. What do you think about these videos? Would you like to see more Jim McLean? I know we would, hopefully you guys would too. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below.